Hi, my name's Ron Lund. We're here in my helicopter laboratory and I'm going to show you how to use the elevated RC fly bar lock. I'm going to point out the different parts to the uh, fly bar lock. This is the bridge. These are the vertical scales. These are the vertical scale nuts. Underneath the head of that nut there's a flat washer. Don't forget that because if you tighten that nut up without the washer the vertical scale will want to creep up and down. Uh, you can see in the side of the bridge there's a hole with a paper clip that's held in place by a three millimeter set screw. Earlier versions we used to have the hole in the end with a smaller set screw. That got to be a problem. If you've lost that tiny set screw or the Allen wrench give us a call. We'll mail you one. This is the uh, nut that holds the bridge to the head block. It's got two sizes of threads, 2 millimeter and 3 millimeter. The T-Rex 450 and 500 use the 2 millimeter. The T-Rex 600, 700 and most other helicopters use 3 millimeter. If your helicopter has a 4 millimeter, you don't need the bridge nut. You can just use a 4 millimeter bolt to bolt the bridge to the head. This is the pointer, which I'll demonstrate uh, in the next section. Okay, I've attached the fly bar lock to the machine. Uh, this is a T-Rex 600. I've taken the blades off for this video so I can spin the head around and, and show you what all this is about. But uh, once we get the fly bar lock on and the fly bar level, the vertical scale set, uh, then it's ready to use as a fly bar lock for the purposes of setting your pitch using a pitch gauge. And it's very accurate. Uh, I recommend the, the Vario pitch gauge. It's, it's one of the best. It's got real clear uh, graduations. Got a level on there which eh, you don't really need that. But anyway, uh, so you're good for uh, setting your pitch now. Now I'm going to show you how to use this to level your swash plate and this is this is really really simple so I bring I I'm gonna do the elevator first so I bring this around I set the pointer exactly underneath the wire I look at it get a visual reference then I turn it 180 degrees and uh, you you might be able to see it's not under the wire anymore so what I'm gonna do is using sub trim or a, using the control rods, your, your CCPM control rods, I'm going to bring it halfway back to the wire. So using sub trim, okay you can see it's, it's not back to the wire, it's halfway. Now I'm going to readjust it so that it's right under the wire. That's perfect. Now I'm going to turn around and make sure that it's, it's under the wire, which it is. It's right under the wire. So I know now that my elevator, the swash plate, is level this way. I'm going to do this, the length of the helicopter, to set the aileron. Okay, once I do that, then my swash plate's level. I can check for interaction. The way I do that is uh, I raise it to full stick. I check my wire it's good. I go all the way down, I check my wire, the pointer doesn't move at all. So if I had interaction that pointer would be moving a little bit. In which case you'd, you would mix that out using your CCPM mix. So those are the purposes of this fly bar lock. I hope you enjoy it. I appreciate you buying it. Thank you.